Hey, what's up? I know you're sitting there right now. You're probably pooping your pants, aren't you? You're so excited. You're pooping your pants. Let me try that again. Hey, what's up? Today we're doing a news video and I bet you're so excited you're pooping your pants. Yeah, better. I'm not going to cut out the other one though because that's just how I am now. That is who I have evolved into. Anyway, this is a story. Uh... Sorry, I was checking to see if I put my backup mic on, which I have to use a lot because this one cuts out. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's let me get back into the the, the flow. Today we're doing a headline news video, which is basically just a news video where I'm too lazy to read the whole story. So I just read the news headline and I kind of just speculate what I think happened. It's a lot of fun for me. I don't. You can all go look up the stories later if you want to get the facts, but you're not getting them from me. So let's do this. This is a news video which I haven't come up with a title for yet. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? Man running from cops stops to pet cat, goes to jail. Police say the Florida man led them on quite a chase. So you were running away from the cops and you were like, nah, man, that cat is just too cute. Um, you went to jail for a cat. Something tells me he was on some sort of uh, like ecstasy or something. That seems like something that someone on ecstasy would do. Like, oh, this furry carpet is so nice. And saw the cat and was like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Or maybe the cat like, enticed him maybe he was running away from the cops past an alleyway and the cat was in the alleyway like Psst, hey Psst, hey hey come over here come over here yeah i'll give you 20 bucks to pet me either way it's hilarious that you got arrested for petting a cat what were you running from the cops for i feel like people who run from the cops it never really works out or maybe it does i don't know i've never run from the cops before i'm not an expert on it all right, let's see what else we got. New rock, paper, scissors just dropped. Canine bites cow. Deputy tases canine. Cow kicks deputy. Why were you trying to wrangle this cow? What did the cow do to you? It escaped, didn't it? You're like, you're supposed to be meat, sir. Hey, if a cow escapes, just let it live its life, okay? If a cow who's about to become steaks escapes, that's just meant to be. Let it be the only wild cow in the world. I Are there wild cows? I don't... I don't actually know. Maybe. Imagine playing that as a rock, paper, scissors, though. It's like, okay, we got our canine, our cow, and our taser. So you go like rock, you go like cow, canine, taser, and then say you pick taser, but the other person picks, I don't know, which one wins over taser? Let's see, cow, deputy, ta oh, fuck. Deputy tases canine. So the taser beats canine, the canine beats cow, and the cow beats deputy. Wait, so it's canine, cow, taser, deputy? There can't be four. This is confusing. Anyway, my point is if you lose when you pick taser, you get tasered. If you lose when you pick cow, you get kicked in the head by a cow. If you lose when you pick canine, you get bit by a canine. Okay. It's a very deadly version of rock, paper, scissors. Anyway, let's move on. Florida man gets tired of waiting at hospital, steals ambulance, drives home. Wow, that's that's logic right there. So you got tired of being at the hospital, so you thought instead you'd like to have a quick little stay in jail. You thought you were going to steal an ambulance from a hospital and get away with it? People are going to notice an ambulance parked in your driveway. It's like the guy in my neighborhood that stole a golf cart before, and then he parked it in his driveway, and then like a day later, they were like, hey, that's our golf cart, idiot. And he, I don't know what happened, but apparently he stole a golf cart drunk and parked it in his... Didn't even try to hide the evidence. That's how this ambulance feels to me. You stole an ambulance? <laughs> At least... Did you at least use the sirens, like get the most out of your ambulance ride, you know, like run the sirens and cut people off and shit. And people are like, well, I can't be pissed because someone's probably dying when you didn't know it was just some guy who was impatient trying to get home. What was so important that you had to get home? Did you have to feed your fish or something? Drunk Florida man 
tries to use Taco as ID after his car catches fire at Taco Bell. This one I can actually read a little bit to you. Tacos are not recognized as legal forms of identification in the state of Florida. Insert bad joke about immigration laws here. No, I'm not, I, let's not, no, that's not what I was gonna do. That's not the first thing that came to my mind. Matthew Faulkner found out the hard way after he passed out drunk in the drive-thru of a Jensen Beach Taco Bell and his car caught fire. Insert bad joke about Taco Bell fire sauce or volcano taco here. Why don't you make up jokes, okay? You're just bracketing and like, yeah, I'm too lazy to make up a joke. Make up a joke, okay? Come on. The incident occurred in the early morning of October 1st in Jensen Beach. According to the blog Off the Beat, Faulkner had apparently decided to make a run for a... And that's all we got because I'm not going to go look up the story. So... His car caught on fire when he passed out drunk. You passed out drunk in your car and it caught on fire? You are lucky. You're lucky you didn't die. It would have been hilarious though if they accepted the taco as a form of identification. They were just like, you know, this guy's drunk as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we know who you are now. Okay. You're, get back. Yeah, no, you're, we're going to take you downtown. You have to be really drunk to pull a taco out thinking it's your wallet. And then that probably means there was a taco in his pocket. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, let me just, oh, sorry, that was my taco pocket. Uh, oh, I, I keep my wallet in this pocket, yeah, where I keep my sauce. Uh, yeah, I keep my wallet and my sauce in the same pocket. Man shot after throwing shoe at Roach. Fuck around and find out. The Roach shot him? That is insane. I didn't know Roaches had guns. I know they've been around for about 10 billion years because no one can kill a Roach. Roaches are literally the cockroaches of the world. They're just always going to be here. Always. Can't kill the cockroaches. The whole world's gonna wipe out. And there's just gonna be a pile of giant cockroaches roaming the land. And that's when aliens are gonna visit Earth. They're gonna be like, damn! <laughs> they won't have a word for cockroaches, but they'll be like, wow, cockroaches! This video seems a little all over the place, but I don't really care. Florida man dies in explosion after attempting to microwave a microwave. Well shit, that's just Darwinism, okay? I'm sorry it happened. I don't think he deserved it, but you microwaved a microwave. What did you think would happen? This guy was just probably experimenting all day. Microwave this, microwave that. And then he was like, what have I not microwaved yet? A microwave. Shit. That's crazy. That is honestly insane. And of course it happened in Florida. I don't know. That just seems to fit. If someone told me that a man microwaved a microwave, I think I would automatically start thinking Florida already. Well, that's the news video for you. I hope it helped, uh feed your appetite for news that you have and if this video does really well then i'll do more of them that's really my incentive when a video does really well it makes me want to produce more of that video it's just kind of common sense anyway i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one bye